The Senate in France now making a decision to pass a bill that will allow the French government to turn on individual microphones on cell phones and cameras as well, including maybe the front-facing selfie cam. So if you're somebody the government disfavors, if you're somebody who might be committing terrorism, then the government can just, with the flip of a switch, activate your device and spy on you. And this is pretty shocking because it passed the French Senate 80 to 24. And France, of course, has a lot of history of riots and violence on their streets, and they're having a difficult time tapering that down for some reason, can't figure out what's happening there. But in response to that, the government always says, we need more power, we need more authority, give us more security controls so that we can manage our safety at your expense. Is this something that the tech companies will comply with, one, and that they technically can do? They can just remote hack into your phone and turn on all your devices and listen to you at the flip of a switch when the government asks them to do that? What will that do to those tech companies? And now we've got questions about the government and forced compliance, but remember, this is in America, this is French. And so we've got a different set of laws and standards and things that are acceptable. But if they're gonna try it there, I have no doubt that they're gonna say, well, they're doing it in France, we should do it in America. So this is some more background on the story. The French Senate gives the green light to surveillance through cameras and microphones in an enlightened Western society, just activating your cell phones. In France, the Senate just approved a controversial provision to a justice bill that would allow law enforcement to secretly activate your cameras and microphones on a suspect's devices. This type of surveillance would be activated without notifying the owner of the device. The same provision would also allow agencies easier access to geolocation data to track, look at this, suspected criminals, maybe not even convicted criminals. All right, you're just on a list. Even though officials say they would only use the new update to the so-called keeper of the seals justice bill only to capture sound and images of suspects of certain crimes like delinquency, organized crime and terrorism, the critics say the bill would be disproportionate. It's not only politicians, widespread concern has engulfed civil rights advocates and organizations. Observatory of Digital Freedoms denounced a security overkill. Another French advocacy group promoted digital rights has also expressed concern. If this text is adopt, adopted, it would dangerously increase the possibilities of police intrusion. Lawyers are unhappy. Yeah, you're not kidding. Representing almost 30,000 lawyers said that they deplored the act. They can just flip on your video camera. The new possibility of remotely activating any device is a serious breach of privacy and critics are urging French parliamentarians to dismiss this. But the justice minister argues all necessary safeguards are in place. It'll be safe. All of these surveillance operations would have to be approved by a judge. Oh, there we go. Then it's going to be okay. Since 2015, when a terrorist attack rocked France, the country has increased its surveillance powers and the keeper of the SEAL bill has been linked to the infamous U.S. Patriot Act. Right, as though they're not doing this crap here. Activating cameras and microphones on a suspect's device might not be allowed for now, but the French law allows the government to monitor phone calls and emails of terrorism suspects without obtaining a warrant. Paris is now planning to go one step further. So it's amazing. I know that there are different exploits and there were different stories that we've covered incidentally here where security companies from around the world will have the ability to hack in with basically zero contacts, send a message and get access to the device. And those exploits are sold you know, to the highest bidder, typically nation states and governments. And so if that capability is there through a hack, is it possible that if the government just says, hey, this is the law, that your Apple, Android, your Microsoft, whatever devices you're using, if they just now comply, oh, well, the French government told us that we need to activate your cell phones. Do they do this in China? I'm not even sure. So we take a look at where this came from and how this entire bill was voted upon. And we go over to the French website to see it right from the government itself. And you see here it is written in French, which I certainly do not speak. And we don't want to read it aloud, but we do want to translate it so that we can see what this looks like. It's a public vote on Article 3 of the Draft of Orientation and Programming Law. Summary of the vote. Look at this. 80. Yes. 
against 24 no democracy yeah all right so this is who voted for it lots of people all want their cell phone cameras managed by the government strange and the few people who voted against it over there in france now if we actually take a closer look at the bill we'll do the same thing we'll see that this is what it looks like in french and we'll translate it over to english Let's see how they structure it over there i do often like to see how other countries operate and how their laws are structured because it's just an interesting thing. Here's what the bill says. This is done in Paris, May 2023. The report defines the objectives of the government. They talk about payments, the number of job creations, and this is the empowerment of the government with additional criminal law capabilities. Wow. If the needs of the investigation of flagrants relating to one of the crimes provided by the criminal code, if the judges of freedoms in detention may, at the request of a public prosecutor, authorize specially reasonable and orders for searches, home visits, and seizures of exhibits can be carried out outside the hours provided of other articles when they're necessary to prevent a risk of injury or life or physical integrity or a disappearance of evidence necessary to the arrest of the perpetrator. When the needs of the investigation or the investigation relating to a crime or an offense punishable by at least five years imprisonment, the liberty and detention judge at the request of the prosecutor or the investigating judge may authorize under the same same conditions as those mentioned previously. Look, remote activation of an electronic device without the knowledge or consent of its owner or possessor for the sole purpose of locating it in real time. The decision then includes all the elements allowing to identify this device. The prosecutor may designate a natural person authorized and they'll just flip your phone on. In order to carry out the remote activation, the public prosecutor may designate somebody to do it. Amazing. Let's see if they have any other additions to that. There's some more provisions. The authorization of the remote activation of the electronic device without the knowledge of its owner is authorized. The period is reduced to 15 days. It's renewable once. And so there's some timing on this. The second paragraph, it could be reduced to two months. The investigating judge may designate certain people to do this. So there's some more details about how this will work. When the activation of the electronic device has been authorized pursuant to the law, the decision shall include all elements allowing the device to be identified. So amazing. And a big swath of the French Senate, 80 of them voted for that. They probably think that their cell phones won't be turned on when they're on the toilet or in the shower or with their loved ones. And apparently they trust the judges over there to protect them. And I imagine that there is an effort to bring this to America and elsewhere around the world. And it will be curious to see who launches the efforts first in America.